Good morning. This video is a continuation of the ABS modulator replacement that I did. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show the bleeding process for the second generation Toyota Prius when the actuator is removed. It's a little different. You need a scan tool to do this job. And uh, it's kind of lengthy. It takes like 30 minutes, but uh, I'll be showing all the steps on the scan tool. I won't be showing the stuff like at the brake calipers, but that stuff's pretty self-explanatory. Just open the bleeder, close the bleeder, that type of thing. But let's get started. And one other note, you need to make sure that the brake fluid is always at max, checking it constantly. And also I like to hook up a battery maintainer while doing this job because the car does a lot of stuff electronically and I don't want to drain the battery. In the car with the scanner, this thing might make a constant beep noise because there's no pressure in the accumulator. So I apologize if it does that. Let's we'll start going through these menus. Turn the car on. So key to Toyota. Okay, let's remove those. The reason you remove those is because the rear brakes are electronic and uh, if you pump the pedal, it just sends straight brake fluid back through them. So that actually disables the uh, those motors from doing that. All right, let's get back in the car. This is an important step. You need to constantly be checking this. Make sure the level is at max. This job is also a lot easier with a helper, so I got someone underneath the car helping me with the bleeding. Okay, we're gonna be doing the front right first. The fronts are like conventional brake bleeding. It's the rear that uh, is electronic, so you basically don't pump, you just hold the pedal for the rear. And then it goes through a series of uh, bleed downs for the accumulator, and that's all done through the scanner. So right now, I got the tech underneath. He's opened the front right, and I'm bleeding by pumping the pedal. And he's gonna let me know when it's just fluid coming out with no air and then we'll move on to the next one so that's now done we're going to move on to the next now we're going to be doing the front left and the same thing I'm going to have him open the bleeder and I'm going to pump this till the air stops and it's straight fluid and he's going to close it and then we'll move on to the rear so now we have to do this pump it 30 times within 30 seconds so stand by Okay, turn the car off and we're going to put those relays back in. Alright, next step, rear left. This is one where I just hold the pedal down and it goes crazy. So the tech has to be quick to close it once he sees it just straight fluid. So we got the rear left done, now we're moving on to the rear right. So again, like, you just have to hold the pedal and the thing's going to go crazy. Yep, I'm holding it! So I can hear it, it's moving, moving fluid. Rear left is done, now we need to go back to the front left. And this one, the scanner, will do the work. I actually don't have to do anything with the, with the pedal. And this is what it does, whoops. Okay, tighten the bleeder. I have my tech do that. 
moving on to the next one. So next step, pump it 20 times in 20 seconds. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, I know the last screen said 20 times in 20 seconds, now this screen says 30 times 30 seconds. I don't think it matters. Okay, next step. I'm gonna go back to the front left. And this is, I don't know, some air, air builds up in the system and the front left is where it comes out, which is why you have to do this over and over on that side. All right, uh, we just did the front left. Now we're back to this step, pumping the pedal. Okay, do the front left again. Just did the front left. Okay, now this is all scanner work. We literally just sit here and wait. So we do this five times. At the end of the step, you will hear a beep, and then you'll also hear the motor running, and you have to wait till both of those uh, stop. And then you can move on to the next one. There, here, I'll tell, show you one sec. Stop. Did you hear that beep? That max. Let me know when the motor stops. Stop right now. Okay, motor just stopped. Next step. And it just do that on repeat. In about four seconds is when that beeper starts. Now we just wait. Okay, just turned off. Air bleeding completed. That's it. We are done. Now let's test this. Let's take it for a test drive. Out on the street now. This thing's driving pretty good. Brakes feel great. But just some final thoughts on this uh, on this job. This is not really for DIYers. Just because of like the scan tool stuff that you have to do to bleed it. I guess if you have a really good scan tool and you're a DIYer, you could do this on your own, maybe with a helper at home. But this is more so for technicians and stuff. That's what I made this video. But anyway, that's how you do the ABS modulator and uh, ABS control unit. Thanks for watching.